Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. So we have successfully created the product detail page and also we have added this add to cart. So now we will try to make this add to cart functionality working. Now this one is with a direct routing, so dynamic param. Now if you go into our code, if you try to see our uh, product details.js file, here this is an add to cart. Normally what we can do is, instead of sending it as a cart slash one like that, we will try to send it through the form. So this one will be much better. Now here what I will try to do is, I will try to create a form here. So this form, it will wrap it inside this button. And here the form method is equal to post. We can keep it as method is equal to post. And I can have an action. It will go to the slash cart. Okay. And here we need to send the product ID. So product ID is a must and should, right? Product ID. Here I can keep input. <coughs> Instead of having text, I can keep hidden. And the value is, it's nothing but is equal to product dot ID. And I can keep here like this. And we need to keep the name, right? So product ID. Product ID. That's it. So now here we are having input type is equal to hidden. Instead of sending it as a get parameter like this cart slash one or slash two, I am sending it as a post. So normally in the get request, if the, if anybody types slash cart as a get request means, so they will be able to see the available items. If they try to send it to the post means, we need to take the product ID and we need to add it in the cart details. So now this is the product ID. Now where can we add this add to cart? So in the product details page, we have did this one. So if you try to refresh this page, so here we have did. And also if you go to the home page, and now here also we can keep this add to cart. Let's try to keep this add to cart. So instead of doing the uh, duplicating the same code, I will try to copy this one, remove this one, and in the includes I can create a new file that is nothing but cart button dot ejs, and here in this one I will paste this one. Mm, that's it. So here let's go to the Mm, where we will go let's go to the product details dot js file here i can include percentage hyphen include includes slash cart button that's it so here i can have like this that's it now let's go on to the home page dot ejs so here also we need to add the add to cart so here I can use same that include of includes include slash cart button dot ejs. That's it. So here also we have added this one. Let's try to see the output. If we go into the product details, if we go into the view details, we are able to see this add to cart. If I come to the home page, so we are we are seeing an error that that is nothing but here cart button dot ejs. So it is unable to recognize the product ID. Why? Because here we are using this product.id and here in this one in the product.details product is able to, so this one is a global variable, here it will able to recognize that one. But here this one it is a looped variable I think, yeah this one is a local variable. So it cannot go into this one. So we have an option that we can send the data whichever you want to send it to the include. Yeah, I can have here product, so product, that's it. So now if you try to see the output here. Let's refresh this one. So now it's working perfect. Now if I try to see view details and also add to cart, these are somewhat uh, not fine. Let's try to make it as, so these are the two things, right? So I can keep di hyphen flex, justify hyphen content hyphen center. That's it. Now if you see the output for this one, so here, let's see. Yeah, now let's have some gap between these things. So here I can keep mx-2 or 2 will keep it. Now let's see the output. Yeah, it's looking somewhat fine. Now if I click on the add to cart, I'm able to see the add to cart details. So if I try to click on this add to cart, now it is going to a post request. So post request slash cart with a product ID. Now here we are able to see the page not found. Why? Because we don't have a cart routing let's try to create the cart routing also so now we have finished the add to cart here 
cart routing means so here i can go into this one so in the routes i am trying to keep it here only simple so here we will be having two things that is nothing but post of slash cart and also you can have another one is a router dot get of cart so if if it the same thing comes as a post request or if the same thing comes as a get request <coughs> and now here in the controls i am creating a new file that is nothing but cart controller cart controller dot js here we will be having exports dot post cart page is equal to you will get request comma response and this is the method and here another one you will be having exports dot get cart page is equal to this one also request comma response and i can add it here so these are the two things now if you go let's go to the home.js so if anybody comes to the here so we need to use post cart page that's it and here we need to use get cart page like this so these are cart controller and now here in the post cart page so here we are able to get the request body right we are sending a form submission so there we will be getting a product id let's try to see whether whether we can able to get that product id details or not so here i will be doing console.log request dot body so request dot body if you go here and if i try to go to the home and if i click on the add to cart so something is happening if i go here see here we are able to get the product id so we are successfully able to get the product id now it's time for us to create a carts dot json file cart dot json file and we need to save the product details and the quantity and all those things here in the cart.json file so as now we don't have any database we'll try to show that in the cart.database and we need to whenever the people comes to the cart cart page means they need to show we need to show the cart details so here what i can do is in our uh, navigation in our views includes navigation so now we are having a new link that is nothing but cart page so add product here i can use cart cart and here i can add cart now if you try to see the output here so here we are having cart page if, I, if somebody clicks on the cart slash cart we need to show the existing cart details if somebody clicks add to cart here means it needs to be submitted as a post request and we need to add the product details into the cart so this is the thing which we will be trying to do in the next video so now here what we need to do the cart controller right now we don't have any database we will be saving that one we will be creating a new file cart.json and a new model cart.js file and here in the cart.js file we will try to save the product details in the cart.json file so this is all about we will be doing in the next session hope you understood about this cart details if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you